Hey y'all, Steve here. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to add a new font into your group of fonts in Final Cut Pro 10. Just so happens that on my other channel, which is Adventure Outdoors, I was looking for some different fonts that I could use on my videos for that channel, something a little more outdoorsy. So I had to add I had first of all I had to find the font that I wanted and then I have to add it to Final Cut Pro 10 and today I want to show you how you can do the same thing okay the first thing that I had to do is I had to find a site and find a font that I wanted so I did a little research I just typed in uh, something in Google and I came up with this particular site here and it's 1001fonts.com I'll leave a link in the description but I found a particular font that I like and it's this one it's called Trade Winds. and one of the things that I liked about this site is the fact that I could come in here into the search uh, or a practice text bar and add some sample text to it and I could actually see what it looked like so I typed in Adventure Outdoors and you can see what the text looked like so this is a free download so I said okay that's good enough for me so what you're gonna do is you're going to download you're gonna click the download button it's gonna download onto your computer and then as a zip file and now I'm gonna click it we're gonna unzip it and now we have here we go we have trade wins in a folder in our downloads. So now, what's next? Well, here's the next step to get that font into Final Cut Pro 10. The next step, I want you to open up your applications, and I want you to look for a program on your Mac that says Font Book. And right here, you can see it. I'll highlight it. It says Font Book. Double click that and open it up. What this is, is this font book contains all of the fonts that your Mac uses. And, it, you know, there are already just hundreds in here, probably easily a couple hundred. But I want to get that new Trade Winds font in there. So right up here, I'm going to click the plus button. I'm going to navigate to that new font. And there it is, Trade Winds. I'm going to highlight it, click open. Now it's going to open up on my Mac and there I can see, let me open that a little bit more. Now I can see exactly what all the letters and numbers are going to look like. Now once you have your desired font, what I want you to do next is I want you to right click on the font and I want you to scroll down to where it says validate font so I want you to click that and what it's going to do is, is this program is going to run through there and make sure that everything's hunky dory with that font before they uh, give you the um, the option to validate to actually add that font so I'm going to click validate font and as you can see let me move it here a little bit where you can see it a little better down here at the bottom it says one font pass this font should be safe to use let me say that not every font that you download there may be a warning so if you happen to download a font that gives you a warning my advice would be just to disregard it X out of it go find another font until uh, until font book says that you have a valid font and it's okay to use Okay, now I'm just going to X out of it. I'm going to go to Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to open it up. Now I have Final Cut Pro 10. I've already got a little uh, example here of text with Adventure Outdoors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this text. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to look for my new font. And it's not in there. Hmm, Trade Winds is not in there. What am I going to do? Well, simple. You're going to shut down Final Cut Pro 10 and you're going to restart it and you're going to look for your font again. Let's go up here. I'm going to shut it down, restart it, and come back to you. I've restarted Final Cut Pro 10 now, so let's go back and see if we can find our Trade Winds font. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click the little arrow button down here and look at there. There's Trade Winds. I'm going to click it. And now you can see the font showing. 
Uh, I've done a little work to it. Uh, I've made it green. I've given it a yellow border. I could always change the colors. I could go down here and choose, let's say, blue. And come down here and change the outline. It's yellow now, so let me click the color bar and let me give it a, oh, I don't know, a red. How about that? We'll give it a red. So now that's a pretty cool font. I like that. It's really easy to add these fonts to Final Cut Pro 10. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment sections. And I'll try to answer them, but it's really quite easy. Uh, I hope this was helpful. And as always, I'll see all of you in my next video.